Ah, okay. So, like like the way I have it this way. Uh, the, once you click on it, I click on this roof and I right click. Uh, I right click and I choose the option to split into single plane roofs. Split into single plane roofs. Yeah. So that is the first step. You click on split into single plane roof. It will ask you this. You, you just say split it anyway. Uh, once you're done, you can now come and click it again. And you want to ungroup now. The first option was split into. You select the roof. You right click and split into single plane roof. The second option is you click the roof. Then you now, when you click it when you're in the in the floor plan or 2d so when i click it now i choose ungroup usually the command for ungroup is control shift plus g or if you want to come the long way once you click on it you go to edit and you go to grouping then ungroup control shift plus g you go to edit you go to grouping and you ungroup i'm sure you've seen it it's a, it's, it is the same way with, uh, let me show you this. You see when you click this wall, it selects the whole wall this way. Say you don't want it to behave this way. What you can do is you ungroup, you click it, then you, you, you go to edit, you go to grouping and ungroup. Then this way, if I click this one, it only selects this wall. If I click on this, I only get the selection of this wall. I think you've seen it so but I can do ctrl z to return it the way it is another way if you don't want to ungroup if you don't want to ungroup maybe you want them to stay in the state they are but you just want to change this side only you you will click on you see here at the here up here where you have uh, you have all these other things uh there's one called uh grouping this one suspend groups so if you suspend groups now you can click each <coughs> each element as it is you can click each as each as it, as it is and it doesn't select the entire thing but if i switch it off then it selects the entire thing but for now let's go back to our roof so i've already ungrouped now i can I usually come to the line tool which is on document on the line tool then uh, I will look for where the center is on this side like in this case I have the center here you can see the center highlighting itself once you once you click the line tool and you come along this line you will see the center highlighting itself somewhere here I click there and uh, on this other end also where the center is yeah that way then now i click on this roof like because we had uh, ungrouped it <laughs> when i click it only selects this side then once i click on this side what we have here on the corner it's called nodes these ones are called the nodes so we have one two three four five six nodes so i want to click this node which is here at the top and bring it to my line the center line of my line so i click on it and once you click on it it will bring you these options here i'm not sure if you can see them mine are here at the corner so one of them is the one the first one is called move node so you want to click the first one which is move node this one you want to make sure it, it has selected the movement one but automatically right now because you haven't used this option it will be automatically on move node so i click here and i click move node i move it vertically like the way it remains that way to here the center which is 190 degrees and now i click on uh, any side on this line this new line I can click on um, any point, it can be at the middle, any point, 
once i click on it it will generate also these other new options here now in this case i want to select one the first one which says insert new node insert new node so i insert i click on insert new node or it will select automatically for you then this new node i want to move it to the end of this line that i've just drawn here then i repeat this other side again i click on any point even let me say like here but i make sure i've selected insert new node then I move it there. Then once I'm done, I again repeat the same thing. I come and select. Uh, I mean, once I'm done with this, if you select on this now, you can see it is only on this other region and not going all the way to the top. So now you click on this remaining line from somewhere between here and here. I'm going to click on it at any point. So I click on it and I want to choose the option of insert new node again and I move it at the center. You remember the, the line we had created, it, had, it has its own center. So you move it at that center and you can repeat with this other line again. You click on it like this, you move it again to that same center and now you want to move them back now so like this one i click at any point between here and here let me click here and i make sure i have insert new node selected and i move it to the end of my line where, where i had drawn this line to the end of that line i repeat it again on this other end I click at, at any point and move it again to the end of that line that way I'm not sure if we are together, but I've recorded it, so I think I'll share it with you. Let me end the recording so that's not that big.